What is going on, everyone? And this time, I'd like to talk about the topic about、uh, removing the apps from the home screen and undoing the action and how to get them back and this kind of stuff. Because Apple made it kind of different with the later versions of iOS, where you not only have the option to delete the app, but also make it、uh, not seen on the home screen, but still being part of the iPhone. It's kind of comparable to the MacBooks, where you have a dock and you also have a grid of all of the installed apps. Like in the grid, there are all of the apps that you have, but you can only put your favorite ones in the dock that is accessible all the time. The same concept applies here right now on our iPhone. So you have a home screen which only shows apps which you want to see all the time, but you also have installed apps which are not visible but can be found in the app library. So every time you hold down on an app, you get more options naturally. Like of course you can modify the widgets and stuff, but clicking on the option which says remove app gives you two options. Of course, we're talking about third-party apps right now, when or apps that you can delete. If you go ahead and hold down on a camera and try to delete it, then it's just going to give you one option, and that is to remove it from the home screen. Anyways, if you hold down on something else, you get two options. And if you click on a delete app, it's going to delete it altogether, and you cannot access it, and you have to go to the app store to get it. But if you click on remove from the home screen, it's not going to make it visible. But if you swipe all the way right. You're gonna be able to access the app library, and if you would like to redo it or undo this action, that means that you would like to get back the app which you just removed from the home screen. The thing that you have to do is to go to the app library, which is all the way to the right, and this is just a list of all of the apps that you have installed, whether visible on the home screen or not. But locate and find the app that you would like to bring back. In our case, it's this one. So you can hold down to it, and the option is again to delete it altogether and to add it back to the home screen. Once you click on that, it's just going to appear back where it was or somewhere else, and you can move it around right now. Really quickly, before we continue with the video, I want to say that if you are new here on the Apple Fox, definitely consider subscribing because I try to post videos like these. About topics that don't get that much of a coverage, and people still wonder how they can access or do stuff that they want to do, and people don't really care about it that much. However, if you cannot find the app right away, just like we did, then、uh, there is the search bar at the top, and you can search for it pretty much. So, if you click on the search bar, it's already going to give you a list which is organized alphabetically, which is great compared to what we had before. If you click on cancel, then you have some sort of groups based on the way that, based on the categories they belong to and stuff, which. Uh, may not be kind of difficult to see because, for example, here you have like multiple things, like twelve icons and stuff, and you don't really want to open up everything up to see. So you can click on it and browse、uh, letter by letter, or just scroll down to find it, or、uh, just type the name in, and it's just gonna show you what it is. And in this case,、uh, it's okay, but you don't get the option to hold down to it to add it to the home screen. No options just pop up, but you can just grab it, and you can see that you can already move it around the home screen. So it is another way using gestures, not buttons, which I think is okay, but. Like I say, you can already move it around. And another interesting thing, which is kind of against the logic of Apple, and we don't really get that a lot, but you can add multiple things and multiple app icons from the same app, and even next to each other, which is kind of funny actually, because you can put like the home screen of one icon. Not sure if you would want to do that, but I guess you have the option to. And this applies to every single third-party app, as well as all of the apps that. Um, are available natively within iPhones, but you can do this. I mean, add multiple icons of the same app on the home screen only if you get to the search view. Because in this case, if you just go to the categories and you hold down to an app which already exists on the home screen, you don't get additional option to add it one more time. However, if you go to the search view, you can just drag it how many times you want to the home screen. And yes, I'm running the latest version of iOS. Not sure if this is a glitch or something, but it just is there. Like I say, it's running iOS 15.1, so、uh, yeah, it's just working. It's not like in a beta stage or anything like that. It's just kind of nice way or something that not many people know about, even though it's not that useful actually. 
Anyways, I'm ending the video right here because there isn't much else what I could say about it. I really do hope that you enjoyed it or found some value in it. If there is, just like all the time, if there is anything that you would like to share, there is the comment section to do so. And also leave a thumbs up on the video if you found it helpful. Thanks a lot for watching till the end and see you guys later in the future uploads.